Hello, today we'll be talking about how to do a soil submission on the new data web. So once you're logged in, you'll go to the submission menu at the top of the screen and select soil. From the soil submission screen, we can select our grower, go up to grower name here, select this little button beside it, and we're brought to a screen with our available growers that we've already worked with and created, or we can create a new one. So we can go to create here at the bottom of this, of this window, and we will name this, and hit save. Now we can now select that grower, and same with farm. We can create a new farm. select that and with field we can create a field or if we want if we don't have a field name we can just hit skip so there's a few different ways we can create samples we can manually enter samples and recommendations which we'll do here we can hit add double click on the sample ID 1a for example double click on the test that you would like to get done on that sample and select this little box to bring up a pop-up menu with all your available packages. We'll choose a complete analysis and we'll make this a 0 to 6 sample. We can now add a second sample. Whoops. And select a basic subsoil analysis on that. And we'll do this one 6 to 12. We can now create recommendations on here. If we hit generate, that'll create a recommendation line for our topsoil sample up here. So we can just click on these fields and we can just start typing in the window here what we'd like. So we'll select winter wheat as our previous crop. We can then Let's choose canola. Oops. We can leave, there. there's the default yield, but we can overwrite that, double click on it. So here's our submission here, our grower name, farm name, grower code, sample IDs, test packages, depths. You can also optionally add a legal land description to the sample IDs here, or sample lines here, our recommendations here. We can now click Submit and Print at the bottom. Submission form will pop up. And here's our submission form that we'll send into the lab with our samples. It's got our sample IDs, test required depths, recommendations, a barcode here. We can just scan this barcode in at the office and it'll retrieve all this information automatically. So at this point, you can print this out and send it along with your samples. So I can close this window now. So we'll create a, a new submission now and I'll show you how to do this slightly differently. So we'll click new submission. We'll go up, we'll select one of the previous existing growers I've worked with here. One of the existing farms and fields. We'll create a field now for this one. So we can do a batch submission here of samples. Let's say we have a bunch of samples. We can hit batch here. Number of samples. Let's say we have 15 different samples. And let's say there are just one depth samples. They're all 0 to 6. And they're all going to get a complete analysis. So I'll hit select and hit this button. And yes, we want to add them there. So now we have all 15 samples, all with the SW package, all 0 to 6. Then we can come down here and batch create recommendations on all 15 samples. We can select, we can just type in the window here. Let's say
Those are our crop recommendations there for all 15 samples. And let's say we have another submission we want to complete before we do go ahead and print these off. What we can do is we can do this add to submission queue. See it says adding submissions to this queue will allow you to pre-submit submission forms and print at a later date. So we will hit that. So it says succeed. So now we can go and create a new submission again. We'll select a different grower and a farm. And this one we'll do batch again, but we'll do with some different depths. So we can do, let's say we're going to do two samples and each sample has two depths. So we got a zero to six sample. We'll have the complete analysis and the six to 12 will have the subsoil analysis. So now we have our submission IDs, 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, our depths, our test packages. And we can hit generate here. Let's say we have different recommendations for the two different samples. So it automatically generates our 1A and 2A samples here. So we can come in here and select different recommendations for each of these samples. So we'll do winter wheat recommendation on sample number one and sample number two, we'll try, we'll do something different. Let's say we are going to do a hard red winter wheat there. And we can add this one to the submission queue as well. So now we have this, we have this little shortcut here. We can also get to that from here, submission queue at the top of the screen. But we'll click down here, go to submission queue. And you'll see I have these two submissions that I added to this list. So now when we're actually ready to submit these submissions, I can click on this one and hit submit and print. Yes, I'm sure. It says succeed and then the submission form will pop up here for that. So here's our submission where we did our 15 samples, all topsoil samples. So it's got our barcode. We can print off this submission and send it in with the samples. So I'll just close this window. And so that's taken off our non-submitted list. And then we have our other one here. Now I can select that, hit submit and print. Yes. And here's our submission here with our depth samples here and all the information, we can print that off and send it into the lab. From this submission key, you can also click on submitted orders. And if I just hit search, it'll bring up all my submissions I've done in the past. So from here, if you missed, if you forgot to print out something, you can actually come into here and select uh, a previous submission and you can reprint the form and the labels for the bags. So here's what be the labels that just print on an Avery 5160 style label. You can just peel those off and put them on the bag. So that concludes how to do a soil submission on the new data web. Goes over a few different options and how you can do that. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call at the office and I'll help you out.